It's empties time! Yay! Except I don't hardly have any empties. It was a really sad month for empties. Um, I had one very sad product. This is my Galactic Invisible Eye Primer or something like that. I didn't use it as an eye primer. I would use it to clean up my eye makeup. Like a makeup remover type thing. And when I didn't want to mess up everything else. And it's gone. Oh, this is $17. I think I got this in an Ipsy or maybe a boxy charm because I've had it for a while. Um, I haven't gotten boxy charm in a long time. But when I first got this, I really didn't know what to use it for because it said an eye primer or makeup remover. I'm like, how can you do that? Well, I never tried it as an eye primer, but as a makeup remover, you know, as a touch-up, it was wonderful. And I've been struggling without it, so I'm not, I'm not good at applying makeup. I need all the help I can get, so I would definitely repurchase this. We'll look into repurchasing this. Okay, next was the AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. This is $1 on the Shop Miss A website. I will link that down in the description below. I love this pomade. I'm wearing it today, but it's a new one. It's so creamy when it first opens, but it dries out really fast. And I am counting this as an empty, even though there is quite a bit of product left in there. There is a huge dip in there, and I used it for a long time. And I used it every day. So the fact that it dried out, I'm okay with that because of I know how much use I got on this. So this was a great product. Next was the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. And I really like the wand on this. It's the type of wand that I really like. Was the formula great? No, it was okay. It was mascara. And I think a lot of mascaras are exactly the same. At least they look the same. It's the applicator that's different. And if you like the applicator, then you like the mascara. Well, I like the applicator, so therefore I liked this mascara. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. But if it was on sale and I needed a mascara, yeah, maybe. Okay, and that was $8, or yeah, $8.99. Next was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now this Actual, okay, here's the difference in the formula. The L'Oreal one was a wetter formula. This is a drier formula. I really liked this mascara before. But I have learned I'm not a great big fan of that wand. It, if it pointed, I would probably be a bigger fan of this mascara. Because I used to really like this mascara. I just don't like that wand. I I have these tiny little... Well, everybody has tiny... I think everybody has tiny little lashes in the middle. You know, right there in this... Like, the end of your eye and the inner eye. And I can't get them with this. I mean, I can, but it's scary. It's like, ah! So, whatever. That's $12. Next was the Kirkland, um, this is the Daily Facial Towelettes. It comes in a big box from Costco, and this is, it comes with like, I don't know, like four of these packs and two of the littler ones or whatever. This is the 30, the 30 pack. So if you divide it all up, this was $3.62. Next, there is the number seven. This is the Firming Booster Serum. This sample was worth $4.20. Was it worth $4.20? I have no idea. 
whatever. Okay, the Caudalie Venosaurus. This is a moisturizing sorbet. I really like this. It's a light moisturizer. It's not, not anything, you know, thick and heavy that you're going to use at night. This is a daytime moisturizer. It's kind of like a gel and it feels great on my skin. I really like it. That was worth $10. This is interesting. I got one of these samples in um, like a set that I bought from um, Ulta. I think it was Ulta. And I got one of these. And I knew I had one of these before and I thought I had used it and I thought, well, I didn't really like it very much. I don't know why I thought all those things because I, when I was putting the other one away I found this one and I'm like, oh, I haven't even used it yet. So I tried it and I loved it. It's this um, proactive green tea moisturizer, but it's kind of like a gel. I love gels. Put anything in gel form in a squeezy tube, but I love it. So I really liked this. I'm looking forward to using the other one. Next, there was a Kate Somerville Exfoliate, and this was also in one of those kits. And I do not like this. It's very fragrant and it's too harsh for my face. I usually use it like on my decollete and my shoulders and it works great for that. But why is there so much fragrance in there? Amazon just walked by. I think I got packages. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Gabbana Cream. And this is just like a little one. This was the birthday gift from Sephora this year. And it's worth $10. Does it smell like buttered popcorn from the movie theater? Yes. Did I use it close to my nose? No. I would never repurchase that. This is the Vaseline in Extremely Dry Skin Rescue. I got this, I believe, in a Target box. And would I buy it? No. Did I use it? Yes. Did I like using it? I used it on my legs and it worked great. This is a mess. This is, if you've, if you've been listening to me talk about this product, you'll know how much I very much dislike this packaging and I don't even really like the product. And I think that is because I'm so influenced by the packaging. This leaked everywhere. That's why it's in one of these boxes. Or bags, I'm sorry. This is a bag. This is not a box. But I had to put it in another pump, which this came with free with a code that I used from Sephora when I was ordering one time. It was like, oh, get a travel size with this code. And I was like, okay, I used the code. I picked this item out of a list of different items and it was not free because it leaked all over stuff and made everything messy and then I had to buy this well I already had these but I had to use up one of my airless pumps I bought from Amazon to put it in there and then I put it on my hair and body and hated it anyways I just have a lot of a lot of feelings about that And my one hair product for the month was a Giovanni Too Chic Avocado and Olive Oil Ultra Moist Shampoo for Dry Damaged Hair. I really like the shampoo. I really enjoyed using it. And I would buy it again, except they don't sell it. I used to buy this at Rayleigh's. They don't sell it there anymore, and they don't sell it at Walmart. And I'm not sure about Rite Aid, but those are the only stores within biking distance from my home. So if it's not at one of those three stores, I'm probably not going to buy it. So those are my empties. And that shampoo was worth $6.17. And I know I skipped through some of these samples without saying how much they were worth. But let's just get down to the total. Total was is that I used 13 items this month and that were worth $93.90. 90 
makeup items. I used four makeup items and my makeup items were worth $38.99. I am doing a makeup rehab series this year where I am counting beauty items. Well, I'm counting beauty items and I'm counting makeup items separately. And I have an item goal and a financial goal. So, you know, watch my makeup rehab series and I'll explain more in that series. But anyways, so I hope you liked my video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!